following is a non-profit fanbase parody. Please support the official release. Hello, everyone. Hello, Al. Psst, Mr. Yagami, who is that? You're supposed to be a detective. How have you not heard of him? I'd ask him myself, but I'm shy. You don't have to... Ugh. That's L. He's, like, super smart. Oh, I think he and I would get along great then. Mm-hmm. You've probably noticed the significant increase of sudden deaths in Japan lately. It's okay if you haven't. It's unlikely that any of you would be able to match my deductive prowess anyway. Uh, yeah. We noticed. Interesting. Watari, take note. Japan's National Police Agency, as a collective, is capable of one one-thousandth of my mental capabilities. Noted. Good. Now back to the matter at hand. I've deduced that all of these killings have been by the hand of one person, and that they reside in the Kanto region of Japan. But how did you deduce that? It's quite simple, really. Well, are you going to tell us, or...? <laughs> How comical. You think I mean it's simple for you to understand? No. My methods are far too advanced for any average person to even begin to comprehend. Of course! You must have looked into suspicious cases of sudden deaths within the past month that connected a case like the harshest incident to the patterns of this new killer! No, I... I did it another way. You weren't even close. That's stupid. That would never work. Darn! Mr. Yagami, this guy is good. Ugh. Anyway, let's move on from that incredibly rude interruption. Not only have I deduced the culprit's whereabouts, I have also developed a theory as to how he's accomplishing these murders. Please, Mr. L! Shower us with your golden wisdom! In due time, young Padawan. But first, in order to preserve the integrity of my plan, I need immediate access to all local television stations in the Kanto region. But, Mr. L, surely we can't just interrupt all public broadcasting- Uh, I'm sorry, are you the smartest person on the planet? I mean- Yeah, I didn't think so. We need to act fast so I can solve this case. And save the world, right? Hmm? Oh yeah, sure. I suppose it's a necessary move we must make. After all, every second we don't take action, that son of a bitch is taking another innocent life! I wrote a letter to my pen pal, Branston Cranston! <laughs> After that, I unclogged Terry Stapler's sink! <laughs> then I stopped to help a man named Bernie the Dinosaur! <laughs> That son of a bitch. Gosh, Ryuk. I can't thank you enough for giving me this deep note. Yeah, don't mention it, kid. Um, say, you got any more of these red bitches? They're so good, I feel like I'm on crack. Of course! You know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Although I guess that means if you were to get sick, then the doctors wouldn't be able to help you because you've eaten so many apples. Which would put you in more danger. Hmm. That sounds good. That's a good saying. People should eat more apples. Good evening, everyone. I am L. Is that Tommy Wiseau? Who's that? I was supposed to write his name in the... I mean, for heaven reasons, we need his legal name to process his soul. But no one knows his real name, 
so he's dodged a bureaucratic process. For now. We are currently in the middle of an investigation of mystery deaths that have been occurring all over the world. We have reason to suspect that this is all the work of one really, really fast person with a knife. Thus, we are dubbing him the Speedy Stabber. He can strike anywhere at any time, and he can stab you so fast that your body does not show stab damages. Oh my goodness! Stabber, it will be wise of you to turn yourself in now. You will have five seconds to run to your nearest police station and place yourself in jail. Starting now. <coughs> it appears you want to do things the hard way. Very well then, Mr. Stabber. Since you seem comfortable, I will amuse you by reading my life's work to you. Opening credits play against generic footage of Johnny stalking about San Francisco. Exterior shot of Johnny's car pulling up outside of his house. Johnny enters the living room. Johnny. Hi babe, I have something for you. Johnny. Why Lisa, why Lisa, please talk to me, please. You are part of my life, you are everything. I could not go on without you, Lisa. Lisa, you're scaring me. Johnny. You're lying! I never hit you! You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Why, Johnny? Why, Johnny? Why? Why? Denny sobs. Mark and Lisa, who are in the process of leaving, rejoin Denny and comfort him. We hear police sirens. The three of them appear to take turns filleting Johnny's corpse as we hear generic police chatter. Fade to black and roll credits. <laughs> if you like what you heard, then please buy tickets to my movie, The Room, coming out this year. Ryuk, we have to see that when it comes out. Watery, you said that would work. It was only a suggestion. I didn't say to let him do the entire thing. Fuck. Whatever, I'll just have to improvise. Uh, hello everyone, I am Al. But like- The real one this time. You may all be wondering what you just witnessed and what that was was merely the beginning of my intricate multi-layered plan to catch our killer. You may not realize it, but I'm already onto you, Mr. Stabber. I hope you're sitting nice and tight. Cause I'm coming for your ass, and when I finish, you won't be able to sit comfortably for a long time. Gross. And now, I will take my leave. But before I do, I want to leave you with one message. If you're the killer, say what? What? Ha! I got you! If you said what just now, realize that I know that you're the killer, and that your time is up! Deuces! Okay, I know that sounded bad. Oh, with all due respect, I feel this isn't going to work out. No, 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 hold on. I'm sorry, but we are going to proceed with all further investigations alone. Now wait just one second, Mr. Yagami, sir! <sighs> what? I feel you're treating Mr. L unfairly, and that you aren't giving him the chance to show us his dedication to the case! Matsuda, trust me, he's not invested in this for the reasons you think he is. That's where you're wrong, Mr. Yagami! L is a kind and compassionate soul who's putting everything he has into getting this dastardly near do well behind bars! If he was so compassionate, then he'd show his face to the world like the rest of us have to. Um... Well... I... Suppose... I could... I know who the killer is. L, 
What do you mean? I just received data of the live broadcast from all stations in Kanto. According to the statistics, viewership was at an all-time high. That is, until our little guest had begun reading his manuscript. Well, that makes sense. It was quite unbearable to sit through. Indeed. But the peculiar thing is that by the end of it, there were only two televisions still tuned in to the broadcast. The television here in this police station, and the one located at your home, Suichiro Yagami! <laughs> Cuff him, boys! I was here with you the whole time, gentlemen. No one got hurt, and nobody died. Oh. That was probably my son, Light. He's usually allowed to watch TV at this hour, and for some reason, he just watches the news. I don't think he even knows what SpongeBob is. Light. Right. Anyway, I think this meeting is adjourned. <clears throat> I cannot believe. What can't you believe, <clears throat> Mr. Yagami? Oh, Matsuda. Sorry, it's just that. Oh, thank you. It's just that that's what we're trusting to end this mess. Well, we don't need your negativity, Mr. Yagami. If you don't understand his master plan, you could just say so. Hey, Light. What is it, Mr. Angel? You've been writing up a storm in that there notebook I gave you, huh? You bet I have. Thanks again, by the way. I'm so glad I get to write about all these people I meet. Someone's going to be glad I was able to record the last moments of these people's eyes before they mysteriously passed away. That's been happening a lot lately. The pleasure's all mine. <laughs> but I've got a proposition for you that you may like to hear. Oh? Don't you wish you could write about everyone you see? I'm sure you've noticed some interesting people you never got the chance to know. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm sure we'll meet someday in the future. Sure, sure. But then again, maybe not. People have been dropping like flies lately, just like you said. Yeah. You're doing a real good deed writing down all these names every day. There's this funny little thing us angels can do that would be a real handy tool for someone as magnanimous as you. I can see the names and death dates of everyone I look at with these special eyes of mine. What do you say, kid? Do you want to see the world through the eyes of God? Shit, shit! Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. I'm gonna show you that penis. <laughs> <laughs>